Hello hard hats, welcome back to Construction Simulator. Today we gotta finish up this bridge by, well, I think just paving it, and then we'll move on to another job. Let's get started. So it says we are 79% done with the bridge and you would think applying the asphalt and then compacting the asphalt would be like the last job. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I couldn't remember if I had a, an asphalt uh, paver now uh, in, in, their, in their inventory. Uh, we did. And we also got the compactor as well. So let's jump on in here and let's get over to where we got to throw down the asphalt. Will I get it done in two passes? I think so. Uh, let's get down on here. All right, uh, let's see here. Camera, extend paver. That's step number one. Uh, nope. <laughs> I hit reset, not refill. Let's try that again. I do that quite often. As we know at this point. And it's a good way to start the episode by resetting the vehicle when I did not need to. The evening hours are approaching rather fast as well. Okay, there's that. Filled up. There we go. Uh, asphalting on. Just trying to get myself somewhat lined up here. Let me get over to the edge a little bit, just in case I got to make a pass up the middle or something. Probably got to refill it a few times. Let's hope I don't reset the paver down back to the beginning. Yeah, so I want to be 50% done when we hit the other side. And at the rate it's going, I'm thinking I'm going to need to make three passes. So I better hug this edge over here. We'll overlap a little bit. Oh, ran out of asphalt. Was not paying attention. Uh, let's go ahead and... Nope. Stop it. Why does it keep going to reset? The game wants me to reset, apparently. I was kind of hoping to get the asphalt down before it got dark, but I guess it doesn't really matter. And in real life, if you were laying down the asphalt like this, you definitely would need to compact it right afterwards. You, know, you would not want to sleep overnight and go, all right, let's go compact it. Don't think that would work out too well. Thought this was going to be wide enough to get one side done, then the other, so it only have to make two passes, but... Since I'm not going to reach 50% once I get over there, I'm going to make sure that I overlap and get right to the edge. And this job actually wasn't too difficult to do. I thought building the bridge might be a little bit more into it. But seeing the machinery that we got to work with, I don't know how else. I mean, could we run the cables some way? Probably not. A lot of crane work. Mobile crane work, that is. Alright, I think when I get to this end here, and when I, next time I run out of asphalt. We'll just sleep through the night. 
because it is almost 8.30. Am I going to get 50% done? I did not think I was going to, but a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. All right, we are out of asphalt, so let's go ahead and we'll leave that right there. And let's take a coffee break till the morning. There we go. All right, get back in. Refill. Turn it on just for a few inches here. All right, spin it around, and I will hug the other side now. Yeah, I'm not going to have to worry too much about trying to cover every little square inch and hope I get it all that we need to. Because we are going to leave a nice empty strip right down the middle. Be kind of cool once we get the bridge done if we get to see the scenic view of it. We'll be seeing cars go over it, maybe. And I wonder in the future if this bridge is going to lead to more jobs down the line. I know it's a distant future because uh, I don't think they have any plans to give us more jobs on the USA map this year, but you never know. Right, we are just about out of asphalt. Are we out of asphalt now? They show me I'm out of asphalt, but we're still putting it down. Oh, there we go. being very careful with filling it up because it keeps flickering over to reset. Once was enough. And it should be a little bit quicker of a job to compact the asphalt. I will say, though, they did have a couple patches since I last used this paver when I was doing the airport. Now, I did read some of the patch notes when it came out. They did, they did fix the pavers quite a bit. If you can remember back on the laying down the runway, I would get hung up on the asphalt underneath the paver itself. And so far, everything is working very smoothly with it. Although, we've done a couple paving jobs on the spaceport expansion. All right, fill it back up. Oh wait, was it still on? Pardon me. Kind of hoping that at the rate we're going that maybe we can finish off the campaign jobs here in the US and get over to the European map and maybe get started on some of those before they drop the new jobs and campaigns on the European map although I think at the year pass it says quarter 2 of 2024 which we are just about at currently We have not even been on the European map yet. So, we'll have everything to do over there. Yep, knew that was going to disable here sooner rather than later. Alright, only got about 8% more to do here, so hopefully we can... Get this done rather quickly. Then I'll reset the paver. 
Although it's driving very hard now because I left that little strip right down the middle. Oh, we're out of asphalt. Alright, I don't really have to... Gosh darn it, it was still running. Um, don't have to get the part that I just missed there because, let's face it, I'm not going to have to go all the way to the end anyways. Ninety-eight percent. One hundred percent. All right, now we'll reset. Oh, now it resets down here. Oh, that would have frustrated me if I did reset down here before. Because then I'll have to drive this little beast all the way up to there. All right, company, vehicle fleet. Uh, asphalt compactor. Let's take that out. Go ahead and enter. And now, teleport up to here. Not as wide as the paver, so it may take me just as long to do it. Okay, rumble and tumble. Uh, let me kind of get a better angle there. I think that'll work. At least I just have to drive in a straight line. So it shouldn't be too difficult for myself to do. Especially this early in the morning. I'm guessing I'll get 25% done in one pass. 33% would be great. Although I'm not really sure how well this is going to help out the community too much. I thought there was a bridge. Well, I see people passing over there. Well, there is, okay, maybe maybe there is no passing. I thought there was one around here somewhere. Maybe I'm thinking of that bridge right there, which is not actually cross over to here. It would be kind of neat, though, if we did have quote-unquote co-workers that you would see around the job site sometimes maybe just standing around pointing at things like they're trying to get things done you know to just just sit in the job site look like you're you're important make it look like you're earning your wage well, we did hit 27%, so that's... So, four passes maximum. But I'm kind of hoping to get to 33%. There's 30%. Well, okay, so it's going to be like three passes and a little bit of a fourth. Unless I get really, really lucky somewhere on the percentage. Oh, I almost made it back on. Let me get a little bit off from the edge there, so maybe... Because the area that it actually compacts is a little bit wider than the roller itself. So maybe if I find the right distance away from the edge, I can, you know, gain that extra 2% that we almost had to get up to 33% per run. But really, if I only got to make three passes, that's not really compacting that much of the asphalt that's actually on the bridge. 
and we look at that other side how far over we went and what we're getting done this side probably on hard mode you'd have to go back and forth five times So if everything goes well, maybe when I get to this end, I'll be at 66% done. But more than likely, 57 58 <laughs> like I said it's not going to be that much of a deal we'll, we'll get it covered up or compact it up well 62% so even though I thought I was covering and getting away from the edge there a little bit I thought it would bake up a little bit didn't make up hardly anything at all All right, so one more pass and then a little bit extra. All right, I am gonna cover to the edge there because I'll leave that little bit in between. Even though it's gonna, it's gonna automatically do it anyways, but just leaving that little bit in between, it was getting to me. And then really I should be repairing all my vehicles with my maintenance trailer because we're trying to get our company up to L quality and the only thing left we got to do is repair and refuel our vehicles so I'll probably once we get done with this job I'll, I'll teleport that over here and I'll get those uh, all the vehicles that we use fueled and repaired I'll probably do that off camera because you don't need to watch me do that with every vehicle. And I can't remember what the next job on the campaign list is. But we'll soon find out. Let me get started on that one. So, should be 93% done when I get over here, right? 31% every time. Oh, 92%. Just when you think you know it all, the game's like, nah, you don't know as much as you think you do. I didn't think they really put asphalt on bridges anymore because the bridges of course sway quite a bit and that would crack the asphalt but what do I know uh, reset this vehicle and it reset it to no man's land um, <laughs> can I can I reset it to where the other vehicles are I cannot all right, well, I'll speak with the... Uh, the tourism officer. I'm hoping... Yep, they're right here. Ooh, don't glitch out on me now. Are you really that short? 
In my mind, I can just see the wealthy vacationers cruise along here in their shiny rides. I'm sure that I'm not the only one who is dreaming about this. We finally created a fast and safe link with the new bridge. Before that, you had to take the long way around the outskirts for many miles. Now, that's a thing of the past. And an hourly sightseeing tour across the bridge into the vacation resort is already being planned. It's coming along. Step by step. Any cars going across yet? That's what I'm looking for. I don't see any. Well, maybe they didn't get the memo that the, that the bridge is open. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's it. Oh, wait, wait, there they go. Now they got the memo. They're all set. Uh, I hope nothing's in the way. Uh, but what I am going to do, is that over here? Um, no. Uh, where, <laughs> where would my... Oh, no, service vehicle. It is there. I apologize. All right, I'm going to go around and get my... <laughs> yeah. Um, are you going to reset? We're just going to fall forever. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am still falling. Can I reset? Um, this might be a problem. Everything has worked out fine. We recovered. Um, I had a fast travel as I was kept on falling. Usually we just fall and that's it. Uh, it resets. Uh, but there, I just kept on falling. But while I was in the vehicle, I went to the map and then fast traveled somewhere and it was just fine. I do have the drill still left to do. Whoops, uh, where am I going? Wrong vehicle. Uh, I still have the drill over there. Probably drive the maintenance vehicle over there to get this done. And again, we're only doing this to get ourselves, because it's a task that you got to do, to refuel and repair so many vehicles to upgrade your company. And that's the only reason why I'm doing it. Otherwise, I just recall everything back to the garage and it can be done there as well. Alright, can't get into there from there, apparently. Back up a little bit. Refuel. Repair. That is done. Step on out. Alright, let's go to company. Upgrade levels. Uh, so, 68 and 66%. So, I got a ways to go on that still. But that's fine. Uh, jobs campaign, we are doing maritime tourism. That is the category that we're on. And we are up to development area. Uh, all right, so it doesn't, you know, it, it looks like it's just a medium sized job, so nothing too, too big. Medium size, that's what we always do. Let's go ahead and accept the job. And now we'll just go to the map, and we are going, oh, right here. Okay, uh, we'll fast travel. So she walked from there to here. Every urban planner dreams of being able to develop new land and design it from the ground up. First, you have to prepare the area for the properties planned here. Yep. It's a forward-looking decision for the city to finally break new ground again. I can imagine that there will be more jobs for your company here once the site has been developed. Um, if you say so. All right. Uh, rock and waste wood. So, mobile crane or stationary crane? Well, that rock just fell on its own. Uh, stationary crane can go here. So we're not transporting it anywhere, apparently. Let's set that up. Uh, and actually, before I even get started, I'm gonna go right to building materials store. Let's go ahead and enter. All right, so we need, oh, seven of those, one of those, one of those, yep. And then check out, 
3000 to deliver. Can't argue with that when he got $8 million in the bank account. All right, up to the crane here. That's a lot of rocks and waste wood that we got to move. Let me get the camera, like always, where it needs to be-ish. And if we got to dig for the foundation, ugh, do I want to use the bulldozer? Because I've done that, we did that on the spaceport where the bulldozers seem to be very fast on even digging out a hole. All right, let's grab this rock here. Lower. Okay, lower, lower, lower. There we go. This is development area, so I'm not really sure exactly what we're building. Or maybe just for setting up the property for a future job, as she kind of mentioned. Wait, the, the cargo is too heavy? Seriously? <laughs> what, 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 what kind of material actually is that rock? That this crane here cannot pick it up. All right, I mean, <laughs> that's fine. We got the, the big mobile crane that we can use, but I'm just looking at that rock and thinking, it looks like we should be able to pick that up with this crane system. Well, we'll just have to grab our mobile crane. And really for where it is, it might be just as fast if I were to drive it out of there up to here. I hope they don't have me like placing these rocks and logs in that spot, then say remove them. Because it would have been easier just to load them up as we're in the crane. I would say get the crane out of the way, but like always, I'm sure it'll be in the way. Alright, let's go down. Why is that flickering? Come on, show me the vehicles. Uh, my crane should be down there. Oh no, the crane is actually on the other side of the bridge. All right, I was like, where? I thought I left it down there. No, it was on the other side of the bridge. All right, I just need about an hour to turn this thing around. Luckily, the traffic, when they kind of, they give themselves some space, so it gives me some room to move around. Not sure what that clanging and banging sound is. I'm not sure what's going on with my mobile crane. Is there a rock stuck underneath it or something? <laughs> I have no idea. Does not sound the best. I have no idea. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully, it'll be taken care. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not even moving now when it's doing it. My controller is vibrating like crazy right now. So there's got to be something underneath it. So once I get this rock moved, I'll reset the crane and hopefully... I don't know what's going on with it. A lot of whoop, a lot of weird stuff going on. The reason why I parked the crane where I did just that because it'd be out of the way. Wait, development area? We're 47% done with the job? What? Alright, let me go ahead and reset. And reset. Okay, I put it in drive mode and that thing did some weird stuff. Okay, now the arm's not really going on in. Alright, I just able to reset it. Hopefully that fixes some issues. Alright, excavate the area. Um Yeah, I'm thinking the dozer is gonna be my best option. And that uh, yeah, where where's my dozer? Is that still over here? It is. Enter. Okay, then we'll, of course, <laughs> we'll come back over to here. I don't know why, every time it does that, I kind of giggle to myself. All right, let's just dive right on in, shall we? Get down as low as you can go. Let's lower. Whoop, I'm on the camera. Get off the camera. Lower the blade as much as you can and. Just push it out of the way. To me, this is uh, just a little bit easier than coming in here with like a wheel loader and trying to bucket all this dirt out. If your dozer can get it on out, let the dozer handle it. I mean, I don't feel like I've done much. I've already done 27%. That's what it says. Oh, I didn't know it was on the camera. I keep doing that. This cat dozer sure has some power behind it. I'm actually surprised it gets enough traction to push that much dirt out of the way. Slowly we will get there. I say slowly, it's actually going along pretty good. I just think if I was in here with a wheel loader, that'd be a lot of buckets, or if I was doing it with the excavator itself, that's a lot of buckets to remove. Alright, 
Let me just push this little pile up. Ooh, it got, it got dark quick. All right, uh, coffee break. Go to the morning hours. Perfect. Let's spin around and let's push some dirt this way. And I forgot, I got out of the vehicle so the camera is going to keep spinning around on me. And if you're asking, well, how are you going to get out of the hole once you get done? Uh, we'll just reset it. <laughs> As I mentioned before, we don't, we don't play hardcore mode here. And we are now 100% done. Cleared the marked area. Yep, reset. And we'll bring this over here. Seems like we're in the shade over here this morning. Where, what mountain is uh, actually blocked? Is, is it that mountain there? Must be, yeah, the sun's coming up over there. All right, so now we are putting in some sewer components. Oh, look how nice and clean it looks. All right, let's not uh, fool around. Let's see if we can get this done today. That would be kind of cool. Uh, wait, I did not see where, where was our material delivered to? Okay, over there. Further out than I thought it was. All right, seven of them. And that's exactly how much we got. And lower it down. I don't know where these pipes that were already, you know, where they're coming out of the ground. I don't know who put those in. But it was pretty convenient. So I'm guessing we're just putting in the utilities for buildings that can go here. Oh, easy now. <laughs> that one was excited to get out of that tight little spot that I was in. Oh, then, then it, yeah, it doesn't like the tight spots. It wanted, didn't want to go in the other one. It wanted to go in that spot. All right. Let's get it hooked up with the other pipes. See, I think it would be just kind of cool to just like have two guys down there, like kind of like waving their hands, kind of guiding, guiding you along a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be accurate, but just adding a little bit more would be kind of cool. Make you feel like you actually have a company of workers with you. Alright, two more of these to go.
And now the last one. So now the sewer is kind of all set. Pallet of PVC pipes. Okay. Doesn't look like PVC pipes. Kind of look like uh, clay pipes. Usually PVC is usually like a white or like a teal, bluish color kind of thing. Mostly. Oh, nope. Thought I knew what I was doing, but uh, I don't. Let's go ahead and get these set on up. No, you weren't quite done there. Now, where are you? Well, gosh darn it, that's two. They sound like PVC pipes, though. <laughs> I'll say that much about it. All right, fill the area with soil. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put this over here because that seems like where it would need to go next anyways, right? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, what did I do? Uh, is my truck in... I just... No, oh, I did put it away. Okay. No, it's not. I don't know where it is. Enter. Where are we? Where is my dump truck? Ah, over here. All right, well, we can just uh, drive it across the way. Well, the last time I did that with the mobile crane. We had a huge problem, but now we can just drive right across this beautiful bridge. So... You know, the bridge does say people driving miles, apparently, but there's really nothing over on this side of the bridge right now, anyways. Alright, so how do I want to deliver the soil? This says soil. I've already delivered 4%, apparently. Don't go over the edge, though. All right. Uh, fill up with soil. So I can't even dump a whole load over the edge there. You, th you think I would be able to. I should be able to get one axle over the edge, maybe. Yep, keep it right there. Don't. Don't fold back down. So this is going to take quite a bit amount of soil. So I removed all the soil. Now it wants me to put it back in. All right, so we're a quarter of the way done. So six more loads apparently. Gotta get the rest out before I can refill it. Be 
You think that soil will be coming out a little bit faster than that. Camera's having a blast. Okay, raise that back up. Oops, oh, not going over the edge that well. This should get it halfway full. We're not. <laughs> Let me put that down and... Oop, nope, nope, that's not back up there. all the way back. I'm trying to think if this is the most soil I've ever had to deliver somewhere. Well, it's still going out the back of the truck. That's all that matters to me. All right, 61%, and I think I can't really dump any more from up here. So I'll have to drive down and in the pit. Uh, or just go over the edge. As one does. Sneak between these pipes. Kind of hoping it'll let me dump here. Yeah, I'm not going to get a whole load there either. This might be a little bit tricky to fill this up. Uh, let's see here. Well, can't really get in there because the pile of dirt already got there. Well, I might be able to get it up to 85%. Am I stuck? There we go. We're free, kind of. Let me tilt it. Must have been hitting the pipe. Yep, I'm getting myself a lot of soil is what I'm doing. And that's Get another 25% in here. Uh, 
Um, maybe I could push it in with a dozer. We did that before. Kind of forgot where I did it. Was that at the Geodome on the Spaceport expansion? The last Geodome that we did may have been there. But I think if I go to either edge here, I could probably get some in that way. Why can't we drive out of here? Alright, can't drive out of there, so we'll just do it that way. Uh, where are we? Okay. I've been moving the camera around more today than I usually do. Yeah, I think if I pile the dirt up here and then push it over the edge, that is going to be the way to go. And then that might actually be <laughs> the whole job. If I can stop running into things. Ah, get, stupid camera. Go just pile this up here. Now we'll get this down because I'm hoping this will be enough soil. I probably didn't need to buy it because I don't know if that soil that's over here is that if that's removable or not. Park that right over here. All right, let's go grab the dozer and just start pushing this dirt in. I hope. Just got to get 14% in. That's all we need. All right, let's see if uh, this goes up in percentage. Uh, it did not. Well, what I can do... Oh, it is going up. Alright, so I can push it out and level it out. And then I can get the dump truck back there a little bit further. Yep, we're up to 89%. I mean, that'll work. Is that blade not all the way down? Let's angle it down some. There we go. Not really, I think, the way the job was intending me to get this done, but... Let's 
make myself a nice little ledge here to go into with the dump truck. Six ninety seven may not even need the dump truck. Ninety nine, a hundred. There we go. Clear out the marked area. And I think where we're at is where we're going to have to finish up for today. Probably not going to take me that long to get the other parts done, but you never know. It doesn't matter because we've got plenty more jobs here to do on the USA map for sure. But yeah, we just got to go ahead and place things down and then start putting some things in. But we'll finish this up and see what we'll be building here next time but the bridge is in and the development area is 87 percent done so that's a pretty good uh good chunk done for the day i do believe but yeah that's what we're gonna wrap it up for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode i do appreciate you watching as always and i'll catch you again right here in construction simulator but until then have a good one